Okay, everyone. Uh, visit this website, and the reason you should visit it is basically I'll explain to you what you can do with a motor like this. This is a freebie. Basically, while I was working, the lady was throwing a treadmill uh, to a skip. Now I knew, uh, as a lot of people know, there's a motor there to make the thing run, and I've used these before, and I've had quite a good um, outcome from it for wind turbines. Now, uh, I get a lot of emails saying, how do I know it's a good motor? Well, this one, uh, it's not an amazing motor, but it'll do, and it'll be good, because basically it's a permanent magnet DC motor, and uh, I don't think you can see it. I'll try and get as close as I can. Um, basically, you've got a 5,150 RPM, and it's a 200 volt as you can see 200 volt DC motor now quick calculations I'm going to show you how I work I personally work it out 5150 RPM if you divide that by 200 volts that equals 2575 RPM per volt so it means for one volt that this has to spin at 25 75 rpm now to charge a 12 volt bat battery just for argument's sake um you need oh you basically need 13 volts to to be charging so 225.75 rpm times 13 equals 334 so that's my in theory that's my cutting in speed um that's when it starts cha uh, charging so i need to make some really fast blades this the good thing is there's no cog cogging in this um, so fast blades that's doable for 13 volts if you're doing a 6 volt charging which I know a lot of people do 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 so that's 2575 per volt so you probably need 7 volts so you're looking at about 180 uh, let's say 181 rpm um, for 12 volts charging, you need 334, as we, as I've mentioned before, uh, at 13 volts. And for 24 volt charging, if you're living in a really, really windy site, I mean, this is probably pushing it 660 RPM uh, at 26 volts. So basically, that's how I know if this is a good uh, motor or not. For my needs, basically, I need it to be running at 12 volts. So yeah, I'm sort of looking, you know, with a bit of line loss, about 350 uh, RPMs for the, um, for this to give it a good charge. Now, when I took it out, the first thing I did was connect a meter to it. And as, as you can see, if I just turn it by hand, you can see it goes up to 6 or 7. Whoa, I just scratched the floor there. But um, I've actually got an LED there. If I just connect, I've got two things connected to it. Um, which well, actually, I'm trying to turn the meter, but right, let me just disconnect the LED. If you just bear with me for a second, but basically this is it. This is a freebie, and um, on a good good wind site, um, it'll charge. This will probably end up being in Portugal. I'll probably use it in Portugal, and uh, see if I just turn it by hand, I get eight. It's actually rubbing on this book. Um, so, oh, the meter's come undone. I got I should have practiced this, you know, really before I went ahead and did trying to do this. But basically, as you can see, eight, and this is just uh, at the moment. It, look, it's moving everywhere, and that's it. So what I need to do is uh, get an office chair, smash the chair, use the swivel for the chair. Uh, good thing with these sort of motors is oh, that's the flywheel that comes off. It's got a little fan there, so that can come off. I can bolt blades to this flywheel, and then I've got this, which basically that that will get fixed to the um, um, to the office chair, and that's it. Make blades, make a um, make a tail. I need to get myself a little blocking diode which I'm looking in UK probably about three or four quid and that's probably for a 40 volt one 
and uh, and that's it. That's all you need. You know, have a look for treadmills. Have a look at any any DC motor. Um, you know, just check their voltage and sort of work it out. But that's usually what I, I you know I see. First thing I see is that RPM and how many volts it is. The first one I've used well, for my first videos, it probably was. Um, I think it was 260 volts, so it sort of worked out probably 325 or something like that. But this one is still good, still, you know, I'm still going to use it. But that's the baby there. So, yeah, and obviously, I kept the flywheel because that's basically my hub. Take it off, and, the, and now this is how you take it off. You basically see this, you grab this, and you can uh, basically turn it this way, and the whole, the whole flywheel will come off. Anyway, if you want to know more infos or if you want to see uh, the update on this, uh, visit my web website www.windchasers.eu. Okay, that's basically how I do it. And usually I'm not too far off it. See ya. See you on my website.